The member for Higgins has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Industry, Science and Technology. Will the minister please advise the House how the recent appointment of Australia's new chief scientist will support the development of science as an enabler of industry to help drive our economic recovery from the COVID-19 recession? The Minister for Industry, Science and Technology. Well, thank you, um, Mr. Speaker, and I intend to take every second of the three minutes available to me today to talk about science because yeah, yeah. nothing gets me as excited, quite frankly, than talking about uh, science. And we have a fantastic story to sell here, Mr. Speaker. Now, on a very serious note, Mr. Speaker, this year has been one like we have never ever experienced before. And we have had to deal with bushfires, we're dealing with the COVID crisis now, and quite frankly it's hard to imagine a year when Australians have ever been more aware of science and the need to engage with our science communities. So now as we drive, as we drive through this COVID recession, the role of our science community, the role of our researchers has never been more important. And this morning I was absolutely delighted to join the Prime Minister as he announced Australia's new chief scientist. Yeah. That is Dr Cathy Foley, a very, very distinguished, a very, very distinguished physicist, applied physicist. She spent many years working for the CSIRO, and I guess importantly, given that science and technology are such key enablers of industry, she has spent a considerable amount of time working in manufacturing, looking at science and technology and how manufacturing can be enabled through science and tech. She understands how important it is for science and research to collaborate with industry. So in her role as uh, the incoming chief scientist, and of course she will be replacing Dr Alan Finkel at the end of this year, and we do recognise his work and thank him for the, uh, the contribution that he has, has made. But she, um, Kathy Foley, Dr Cathy Foley, will certainly be doing all that she can to ensure that science is a key part of driving our recovery through the COVID recession. Now, we understand science on this side of the House, Mr Speaker. We absolutely understand science. And let me say two things, Mr Speaker. In the budget, we committed $460 million additional dollars to CSIRO. And quite frankly, We've also, we've also committed $1.6 billion more in funding to our science agencies than when Labor were last in government. So they sit there and they try and make out, Mr Speaker, that they are all for science. Well, quite frankly, I don't even think that they would know how the to spell science. The Minister's time has concluded.